Hello everybody, this is Mad Cat Sphere, and I just want to upload a video to give you guys a little bit more advice, a little bit more better information of psychokinesis, and uh, these pieces of information that I want to give you guys is very important to development of psychokinesis, and uh, it's helped me a lot, and it's kind of things that I've discovered um, through the year and a few months that I've been doing it. And um, I, the first thing I want to tell you guys is that uh, you have to first prove it to yourself. Prove it to yourself that you can spin a side wheel. Make it real to you. Make it real that you can roll a can. Make it real for you. Prove it to yourself that you can perform a psychokinesis ability genuinely through a tutorial or through the advice of another uh, telekinetic teacher online or through me or Trevor. You know, prove it to yourself. Make it real for you. Prove it to you first. You're the first person, the only person that that you need to prove it to in order for you to create a belief that it's even that it can be done at all. Which it can. It, I'm proof of that. What I upload is real stuff, okay? And um, if you want to perform in front of others and do psychokinesis, you know, my advice that I give my, my, my subscribers and people that comment is that Prove it to yourself first and make it real for you. Make it real. Make that object move before yourself first. Alone first. Make it real. Believe that it's real by doing it first for you. Because even though you perform it in front of others, you're still proving it to yourself. Even in front of other people, you're still proving it. Because that's the only way that you can accomplish the telekinetic psychokinesis move, whatever it is. You know, because... You know, at every stage, whether alone or around others, you're proving it to yourself constantly. That's the only way that you can do. You you can't do it to show off. You can't do it to to um to just uh to be fancy and to to just to, uh to be egotistic to sh show ego. Psychokinesis doesn't work that way. Until more years later, when you get more better, then you could add a little bit of swag and ego to it. You know, but for right now, you know, um, if you want to perform it in front of others. You have to first prove it to yourself and make it real for you. And the other thing is, though, is that once you do get something going, you have to carry. If you don't want to do meditation, um, um, to to uh to to allow yourself, I guess, like meditation. They say that you know, like I I never done it, but a meditation is supposed to make you more relaxed and all stuff. I said about being neutral and being indifferent, which is the same thing. It kind of is, but the most important thing besides being neutral which goes hand in hand being neutral and indifferent indifferent is an alternate technique for people that have a real hard time but being neutral mostly neutral goes hand in hand with carrying your experiences with you you have to carry their experiences with you wherever you go every time if you it doesn't matter how big or small whatever your achievement is rolling a can or rolling a little piece of paper uh, uh, pushing a piece of paper or foil down or spinning a sidewalk, no matter how small it is, you need to appreciate what you've done and carry that experience with you throughout your days. You know, you need to carry it in your subconscious. You know, feel the subtleties of your accomplishments. Remember how it felt to move it. Even though you weren't feeling nothing, there was something there. You felt a little bit excited, not, not too much. You know, you remember the environment that it, 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 it was in. Um, remember the time, you know, remember how it moves subtly, you know, you got to remember it and carry it with you. Carry your successes and your achievements with you. Never let yourself forget. Don't let yourself forget what you do because that's going to help you be stronger. If you don't want to do meditation, then carry your successes with you every day. It, it may seem like it's a lot of work, but it's it's actually not. You, you just have to just uh, genuinely be interested in what you're doing. No matter how small it is, be thankful for what you do. Be thankful for what you achieve and you will succeed. Carrying your successes and your achievements will help you. They will help you. Because what you're doing is that you're not letting your memory, your memory retention forget about what you have done. Even though you don't know how or what you did to make what to make this achievement occur, this like achievement occur. You just have to carry what, what you've done with you every day in your subconscious. Let it simmer. Let it sit and simmer every day. Don't let go of it. 
Let it build up. Let it work. Let it work. Don't let it go because that's going to, that's what's going to help you get to be really strong. You need to hold on to it. Okay, because that's exactly how I got to be where I am. That's how I got to spin the, this hanging footrest and to roll that can and to do the hydro and to do the umbrakinesis. Did you know that when I did umbrakinesis, I was actually pretty drunk. I was drinking before um, I did uh, like I did um, a little bit of umbrakinesis before I was drinking there too. And it wasn't a good video, it was crappy, and I decided to do it the next day I did it in the bathroom, and the rest is history. But anyways, I was laying on the floor, and I, I was drinking before, just a few hours before I went to sleep, and I was drinking, I was buzzed. But I had determination, and throughout the days, through my successes on my side wheel spins and everything, at the, this is at the very beginning when I was first starting out, the first year, the middle of, the, of uh, six months into it. Every day I was holding on to my successes, and I was carrying my achievements in my mind in my heart the images of what was going on the images of what was occurring of my past achievements and i was determined to move the cycle through its shadow i was drunk and i wasn't ready to do it but because i had will and because i was determined and because i was carrying my successes with me that type of knowledge helped me to achieve what I did. It helped me to achieve spinning the cycle through its shadow. You know, and that's the first time that I ever saw anyone do a, a real perfectly executed umbrakinesis achievement on YouTube. Okay? And that's why I did it. Because I didn't think I could do it. But I did it because I believed and I carried my successes. I didn't meditate. I was drunk. I was drunk, I was drinking shots, taking liquor and all that stuff, and I was laying in bed, I was, you know, I, I was half I, I was half asleep, but I was determined, because before that night, I was always carrying my successes with me, carrying it, being appreciative of what I've done, that's the next thing I want to get into, the next thing that I want to get into, I've had a little paper here, is to respect, respect what you accomplish, respect it, because if you don't respect it, you're not going to go nowhere, you're not going to achieve anything. You have to respect what you do. You know, that this is the damn truth. I'm telling you guys the damn truth. Psychonesis is real, okay? And I have achieved a lot because I'm telling you guys that I have care. You have to respect. The side wheel is small, okay? It's a small thing. You know, pushing a paper or a foil over that's standing. This seems like nothing. You know, in order for us to make those things real, we have to appreciate the achievements of what we do with the smallest things the smallest things the smallest things we have to we have to we have to make the side wheel as equally important and as as dynamic as levitating and wanting to lift up a boulder or a car both of them need to be equal to each other you can't disrespect the side wheel because a side wheel if you if you um belittle the side wheel you're belittling you're disrespecting yourself because psychokinesis is the ability of the, psycholo the, the, the psychological inner working, the spirit and the body working in this reality to make these, these, these things happen. And if you disrespect and if you think that, oh, well, you know, the side wheel is nothing. I'm not going to start with the side wheel. I, I, you know, like, I, I don't care about that. Or like, you know, rolling a can or something. You know, you know the small things. I want to do big things. You have to start somewhere to create a foundation. You have to set a foundation first before you can build the house before you build the floor before you build the wall before you build the the roof you have to start first at the very small smallest levels because the smallest levels that lead us to create huge uh, and awesome extraordinary achievements you need to appreciate what you are doing you need to appreciate man you need to appreciate the smallest things even in life you know like you know like you have to appreciate the smallest things you have to appreciate what you do even though it's small because it's that small meek honest energy it gets you to move those small things the small honest um activities the abilities the achievements the successes that lead you to be able to achieve and and to move larger things so you have to appreciate what you're doing, you have to be involved, but you have to be neutral at first so you can get the hang of it. 
and be uh, um, indifferent if it's if it, if it, if you have to do it. That's an alternative technique. But just please listen to what I say, and you guys will will achieve what you guys want to do with psychokinesis and great things. This is Matt Cat's fear. Thank you guys for watching.